Hey everyone, much love. Um, yeah, I sent my back my uh, guitar up uh, there a good little bit and climbed down here. I wanted to show you if you can see it how steep this hill goes straight down. I can't tell what's down there, and I can tell there's a cliff right about there. I'm not gonna head down there because I only have about two hours of sunlight. And I'm probably a good two-hour hike from any safe point. I'm pretty back in the woods. I don't even know what part of the woods I'm in. Usually, like, I know about where I am in the woods around here. And this was just a path that kept going and then turned into an old hiking trail, which was weird. And then there's, I don't know if you can see them, but there's three oak trees in a line over there and there's a fourth one that used to be there so someone used to live here uh, there used to be a house somewhere around here if I could find the well I would know where the house is I know that they lived around here though um, and I keep on feeling a uh, a, a, a breeze that feels like it's a cave. Now, the reason I started filming, though, none of that's interesting enough to film, in my opinion, is if you can see it. Yes, you can't see it. Can't really see this. Okay, well, there's a rock wall here. There's the top. Um, it has a layer of... Uh, Right about here of volcanic ash. That's more of an ash layer. That's not really a volcanic uh, magma layer, but it is an ashy layer. And then right about here, you can see it, is a magma layer. It's a megalithic layer. And then tons of crystal layers underneath of that. And then even more compressed stone and then another magma layer um and there are all of these little tiny holes in it and you can tell that something is living here something has dug behind this and dug tons of holes and they're all connecting each other and it's just not your average environment for something to live in. I mean, I suspect that insects originally did a lot of the work and then a bigger predator moved in. Um, because that's common in a lot of rock areas since insects do the most damage to rock. It's difficult for a, uh, soft skin thing like uh, one of us to hurt rock. But if you have an exoskeleton, Man, you could take out rock easy. Um, I practically fell to get here. It's so freaking steep on this side of the hill and on the other side. This is kind of like a, gives me a ley line feel. And I know where one ley line in this region is. Um, and this is way off of that ley line. It's, it's miles away. Whoa. <laughs> Ugh, okay, well, that hurt. <laughs> this tree's been cut. Well, that's unique. It's been cut with a... Huh. I don't even think that's a chainsaw. I think that's an axe. Wow. And it was a good another two-inch diameter on that thing. Okay, well, I gotta get up this hill. I'm going to play guitar for a little while, relax, and then start heading back quickly because I have to beat the sun. Okay, well, much love, everyone. Peace.